Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Welcome to Waves of Dan. The topic for the summer 2022 season is Common Issues Around the World. I will only touch lightly on these issues, so let's jump right into it. For this 10th episode, we'll take up mandatory voting. Mandatory or compulsory voting occurs when citizens of a country must register and vote in their country's election. If a citizen breaks this law, they may be subject to penalties such as jail time from one month to a year or fines. Presently, there are at least 21 countries with this political system. However, as time passes, some countries have taken up this system but has done away with it. For years, the debate has been raging as to whether it is worth compelling one's citizens to vote or simply leaving it up to them to decide if they want to vote. Some reasons have been put forth as to why mandatory voting is advantageous. Reasons such as it is part of one's civic duty as a citizen of the country, just like paying taxes. Also, it will help to increase one's interest in politics because if someone must vote, it will force them to learn more about the candidates and their policies. Additionally, those who are in parliament were chosen by the people, whether they were forced to choose them or not. Those who are against compulsory voting cite that the freedom of human rights and the religious rights of citizens are infringed on. Money and other resources are wasted when the government has to quote-unquote chase after non-voters to penalize them. Also, because it forces citizens to choose candidates, they may just blindly choose anyone and thereby may even cast their votes for Mr. Peanut if his name was on the ballot. Will it surprise you to hear that every five-year term, North Korea has a general election? and voting is mandatory in this country. However, they see almost, if not directly, a 100% turnout of voters. While I will not get deep into this country's political setup, I will add that there is only one name on the ballot and if a citizen refuse to choose this name, their life will never be the same. Nevertheless, there are at least three political parties in the country's parliament, and March 2019 was the country's most recent election. In Luxembourg, Bolivia, and Uruguay, Voting is mandatory, whereas it is not so for Chile, Fiji, and Venezuela. Thanks for listening, guys. Goodbye.